Today, we're going to be trying out Cursor AI. So if you've heard about AI tools like ChatGPT and GitHub Copilot. And so those are good because you can ask them questions somehow. Well, for ChatGPT, you ask them questions and then for Copilot, it gives you suggestions. But now this is a text editor with AI built in. So it will supposedly know your entire code base and you can ask questions about your entire code base. So maybe it's a step up from Copilot and that's what we're going to be finding out in today's stream. They forked VS Code. So it's everything exactly like VS Code plus the AI. And apparently they raised 8 million from OpenAI Fund and they get, they're funded by all these companies. Yeah, let's take a look at this. So what you can do with this is like chat with your project and it will supposedly know everything about your code base and just do it and like answer all your questions automatically. Like a pure, en pure engineer, pair programmer that knows everything about the code base. Seems promising, right? I agree. Can even spot and fix bugs. Yeah, no, this looks great. You know what? We should have thought of this idea and we should have made it, but it's okay. You know, you live and you learn. Let's try it. So VS Code, Vim, Emacs, nah. I tried learning Vim, but I gave up. I might try again. English, okay. Command line, launch command line using code or cursor. Um, Sure. You know what? Let's just get both of them. Okay, let's try this. Let's continue with GitHub. You guys can follow me on GitHub if you want. It's Nathan-149. Ah, uh, you don't need to follow me. It's whatever. Sure. Ooh, here we are. So let's try, let's try it out for a bit. Hit Command-K to prompt an edit. Okay. Command-K. Whoa. New code instructions. And it seems to be GPT-4. Using GPT-4. Very cool. Reject. Command delete. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Open chat by clicking the right, right bar button. Oh. What can I do with cursor? Pair programming. Chat edit generate. AI linter. Auto debugging. Dog support. Use your own API key. Okay. Secure. Cursor is secure. You can local. Enable local mode too. Ensure you have no code or data is stored. Very nice. Very important. Except... I don't care about that. Hover over a lint error, like fix in chat. Okay, cool, cool. Bug finding. Okay, ask chat, where are the bugs in the code? Where are the bugs, the code? Wow. Is it gonna give us the suggestion? I oh, guess it is giving us a suggestion, but is it gonna tell us exactly where to put it? Or maybe it'll just do it for us. That'd be sick. Seems like it's still running. I see. So I guess it just tells you or just made the, wrote the code in its entirety. And then we would just put it in here. Okay, let's, so we took its suggestion and let's ask it, how does it look now? Oh, okay, well, it says that it's still incorrect. Hmm, okay, maybe one more time. Failing the demo. Yeah, no, that's like pretty sad. Okay, how about now? Almost correct. One more bug. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, it is pretty cool though. We'll try it on our code and like see if it can get it understanding of what we're doing for our project. All right, last one. Last time, if it doesn't work, I don't know what to tell them. It's pretty bad. Okay, so at least it says it's correct. It says it's correct now and I kind of believe it. I don't really want to look into it. It's Rust code, but fair enough. I believe it, I believe it. All right, let's open our holder. Hmm. Right now, Cursor AI is not looking very good, guys. Not at all. Let's try to ask it what's going on. Can I set the virtual environment or whatever in the bottom of the right corner like VS Code? Maybe. Oh, that seems pretty good. Yeah. Is this, oh, I mean, this is the interpreter, which is also what we wanted to change. We're not using this one. We're using neither of these. We're using like Python 3.11. I think I had it somewhere here. This is all this stuff running. And I think that fixed it. So it's still indexing. Resume indexing. One eternity later. Hopefully by the end of the stream, this finishes indexing. Maybe we can ask it right now. Command enter. Oh, nice. 
So it is reading from everything. Oh, it's not done indexing entirely, but it does know what's going on now. The provided code is part of an application that generates ebooks using AI. Nice, very true. So the main class ebook content generator uses OpenAI's GPT-3 model to generate various parts of an ebook, including the title, outline, and contents for each chapter and subsection. Generate ebook method is the main function. Very true. Shopify generator is Shopify generator class is used to add the generated ebook as a product to the Shopify store. It makes HTTP requests to the Shopify API to add the product and its images. Very true. Generate docs method is responsible for generating the contents of the ebook it uses GPT-3. It actually uses GPT-4. I don't know why it thinks that, but all good. To generate content from each subtopic in each chapter. Yes, pretty much true. The generated content is then written to a dot docs file. Yeah, this is good. It definitely understands at a high level what's going on. Can you write me a test file for all these? functions for all the main functions let's just say all the functions it's able to write some tests i don't think i would use this test because i don't even it's using the fetch data from api which i guess could be tested but that's not the main important stuff we want to be testing ideally we just test like the actual functionality of i don't know the ebook creation but nonetheless still pretty cool yeah, we need to mock the responses from the external services. So it's saying that it can be complex and requires a good understanding of the code and its dependencies. So maybe it has some limitations, which, you know, I understand. I had higher expectations for Cursor AI, but it's all right. I give it a 3 out of 10. I would say that ChatGPT and um, Copilot are probably just more, more useful. It does use ChatGPT, though, so I guess you don't have to switch tabs. Not bad for a new AI product. True. Very true. Oh, let's use the, the editor thing. So create me a unique int that depends on the Yeah, that sounds right. Okay. All right, I give this a six out of 10 because it pretty much does what GitHub Copilot does for free. Where did they get their profit? Sorry, where do they get their profit? I'm pretty sure they're starting out as a startup. So they probably have funding and then are just taking a loss at the moment. And then eventually we'll start charging and there's enough user base because I would pay for this. Okay, so let's ask it at this line. At line 60, 61, it's saying, we fix this. I wanted to say that we should just make the file. Okay. I think that's like the same exact thing though. Oh yeah. That's so true. There's a comma about after this. You know what? I'm starting to give cursor a seven out of 10 cause that's pretty good. This however is like the same exact thing, but sure. I guess that makes sense. A few moments later. Okay. So that's not good. It's not taking into account the other ones. It's still running this. Okay, so line 49. So right now the problem is that it's still waiting for fulfill request to be run. Let's see, unique ID, replace this line. Okay, so we're now passing the function of self-fulfill request as the target of the thread correctly. We're calling the function and passing the result to the thread, which is not what you want. Yes, 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 makes sense. I'm mad confused. Is that not the same line? Let's see, this is the first line and this is the second line. Okay, so no, they're different. They're very different. Yeah, what is this? Why did it, it tricked me. It said to do this and I trusted it. That shit was terribly wrong. I give this a three out of 10. Yeah, you should use it for your class, except you should be wary. It just told me to do something completely wrong and I barely looked at it. And now here we are.